Okay, I just wanted to show you a little bit of how I work with magnets because they can be tricky. Very, very tricky. I've gotten a lot better at this. Oh, come on. Gun. So. So I use these, and I should have actually had this down lower so that when I get it on there, <clears throat> it's actually on there where it belongs. Oh, jeez. Dang it. And I do find that hot glue is really the best way to secure these magnets. Because frankly, the silicon takes forever to dry. And I suppose if you're actually plan that amount of time into your construction project, um, that's one thing, but if you don't plan for it, then <clears throat> hot glue is definitely the way to go. Hot glue is just more secure. It works better. It's, it's a little bit more difficult to work with, but it's I think overall a little bit more accessible because it's like available in any craft store. Just about everywhere has it. And I, I suppose silicon is also everywhere, but <clears throat> the other thing you have to make sure that you do <laughs> is make sure that it's got the right poles <clears throat> on there when you're putting it on. So Mom's getting ready to feed Max, so Max is going crazy. So basically, <clears throat> and again, I am going to utilize this method. Get it on there because really it works but as you're putting it on the other magnet that you glued on will help you align this magnet that you put on so shoot And voila, <clears throat> I will add yes. more, more magnets down here because basically you want to get this nice and flush against here. You don't want any gaps 
because bugs can get in there and I don't think spiders can get out or anything like that but certainly insects you don't want those things getting out all over your house and then when it comes to gluing the acrylic hinges what I like to do is this first line here lining up there and then just putting glue on this section and lining it up there and you'll should wind up with something that looks like this and it's nice and snug up against there you have enough room down here to put your substrate they get to web up here, and there you go. I mean, that's for a Ginger, small spider, that's kind of perfect.